It's an elephant. <laughs> I'm Alicia, your Prop Money Millionaire, cash stuffing, budgeting teacher, single mom of three. It's time again to these hands. These hands and bands. Hello. It's Magical Ma'am. I hope you are all having a wonderful, wonderful day. This is this is coming to an end very soon. We are very close to the end of Magical Mayhem. Go back and check out the videos. Um, you're, gonna, you're going to want to make sure you haven't missed any of them and any of the hashtags. I have a prize today to give away from Budget with Cat, And then I have one more that we're launching or we're gonna start. And then, fingers crossed, I have a, I have a package that's on its way and it should be here. It should be here Tuesday, sadly because of the holiday. I think that it's just gonna mess up the, the shipping. So, if that one doesn't come um, Tuesday, then I will show you that one on Thursday. But I'm closing all of this week's giveaways on Friday. So that'll give you one day to get it. You know what I might do? Because it is the end. I'm not going to do a video on Thursday. I'm going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. And then nothing on Thursday. Come back on Friday and close out all of these prizes. That makes more sense to me. So this week only, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are going to be videos and then Friday we'll come in and wrap up all of the prizes for this week. So this isn't going to give you a whole week for this week. Don't be waiting until the last minute to get your hashtags in because you're not going to get a prize. I'm just saying. Okay, let's do our Affirminators Unite, our affirmation, and I'll tell you who won. I'll tell you what's coming up next. Faith. Ooh. I know in my heart that everything will turn out fine, better than fine, awesome. So I'm willing to have faith and trust that anything that isn't awesome will eventually lead me to something that is. But I'm ready for awesome whenever you are, universe. You hear me? Awesome. Not everything that we're going through today is going to make us feel like it's just the best thing for us. But things are in place for us to have something greater later. You are going through what you're going through now to get you to those next steps. Does it suck? Absolutely sometimes, but those lessons, those burdens um, become blessings. So look at every opportunity as just that. Every opportunity, every chance to just have greater and more later. Y'all know having faith is not easy and trusting in the process can be daunting. Um, you just have to you just have to really have some introspection and really have faith. I know that's redundant, but really have faith in all that is. I, that's a word for me today. So it's, I'm, I'm, I am reflecting as I'm trying to give you my interpretation because that literally, the, okay, let me tell you real quick. I have some vivid dreams. I mean, vivid and very, um, gosh, very telling. Um, I've never shared this with you guys, but, um, right before I was told by a friend, like literally the day before I was told by a friend, um, about a situation with their partner and um, um, their health. Then the night before I had a dream that I was in a, a restaurant area with my sister-in-law and the kids. And I went into the restaurant and all of a sudden this hurricane came and it was devastation and we were all screaming and like, it was just crazy. And then within that same dream, it was like, I woke up and I was, I had rewound and I was back in the same original position. And I I could see every step, everything that had happened in that previous dream was happening again. So I ran right to the restaurant because everyone was outside under these umbrellas. And I was like, hey, please, I've lived through this storm. You have to go inside. And I just kept pleading with them and pleading with them to move inside to save them. Um, and so I had a situation with a um, someone really close to me in my life that passed away. And when I found out from this person that they were going through something similar, it was like, Oh my gosh, this is my moment to, to tell you my story so that not to scare you thinking that, oh, your, your person's going to pass, but to let you know that I am here for those, those steps. I'm here for those times when maybe someone doesn't understand or you just want someone to talk to or someone to cry with. And so now I, I have these, I have these kind of dreams all the time. It's, 
one of my friends tells me, you need to write these down and write a book. I won't always be wanting to know what these dreams mean, to be honest. But the last two nights, I've had a dream about me living in a house or being in a um, like a, a space or a home. And each time, I keep finding a new room. So in the first dream, I was looking like, oh my gosh, you know, my daughters want to separate their rooms. They're getting tired of being together in the same room. And then as I'm walking up the stairs to show my best friend who came to visit me where she was going to stay, all of a sudden, there was like this extra flight of stairs I forgot about. And I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this whole other level of, of a house. And we went up there and I forgot I had this whole like room and, and a bathroom. It was, it was just like uh, like more space than I had realized. And then the, the night after that, I had a dream that I was, it wasn't like a Circle K, but it was like this convenience store. I kind of lived there and we were getting things ready to like have this opening. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, there's like a whole nother area behind this area that we had these shelving and there's more space for our products. And it was just like another room had opened up. Um, and when I looked up some of the dream interpretations, it was like, um, you know, and I know there's a thousand and one, but this, this applied to me and what's going on in my life. And it's about understanding and accepting your own um, potential and to have faith in yourself and where your potential can lead you and to allow that growth to happen. And I think that for me, I hold back a lot. I know you probably don't think so, but I hold back a lot in what I do with my Etsy and my hands and bands because I'm always worried about doing too much. This is me holding back. And I don't know if me not teaching summer school is allowing me and allotting me that time that I can use to really just kind of like full force and do more. Um, but I'm going to take a step in that and hope that whatever comes will come and, and just trust in that process and have faith in it. Okay. That was not what I had meant to come on here and talk to, but somebody needed to hear that. Somebody needed that word. And so there it is. Okay. So we are giving away <laughs> budget with cats, 100 um, box envelope box. So you get the 100 envelopes and you get the um, extra ones as well. Some extra envelopes if you want them to switch out some patterns. Uh -oh, uh oh, And then you also receive the little um, tracker card and the stickers to put your numbers on as well. So for this one, it was hashtag cat and that was last week. So I used a little comment picker thing and boom, boom, you are a winner, Martika. Congrats. So reach out to me, message me on Instagram or email me on my um, hands and bands co at gmail.com and I will, everything is below as well. Um, and I will get your prize out to you. Everyone who's had a prize in the last like week or so, um, by the time you see this video, no, because Monday's a holiday. So on Tuesday, everything else I have is going to go out, including this. So everything will be shipping out on Tuesday. I'm finally able to like get to the post office and get everything mailed off. Okay. So for our second to last prize, well, maybe, <laughs> um, we're going to do um, two sets of envelopes. When I did the cozy cover and offered the vinyl i had to reach out about my vinyl i was like oh because i don't offer vinyl anymore um this would be a good price for me to do for two more sets so i'll do a set of five envelopes you can get a five one two three four five i'm sorry a four a six oh my gosh my brain a six these are a six you can get a set of five a six or five a five so i'll do both so you would put hashtag a five if you want the a five set and hashtag a six if you want the a six set now, I know some of you, most of you, see my my vinyl and what I have um, as far as designs and whatnot in my own, uh, here they are, in my own envelopes. So just a quick view, some of the, you know, whatever, like we can get creative, you know, I'll have the, these are what I use for my business one. You can do some simple words if you want. Um, we can do some layered fun. We can get we can get funky a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We've got the ones with Larry's. I haven't done these for any other, but um, I do offer a different design of the Larry's I could put on yours. This one just has like the superhero behind it. Not saying you have to choose one of these, but we can get creative. This is one of my kids. They have a SpongeBob themed and just the letters that match that theme. Um, this binder is another one. This one's the Minecraft. So like I I love vinyl work. I don't love to do it for like um, like a lot a lot a lot of stuff. <laughs> the order's got to be much, but 
for a prize, definitely. So we can get creative. We can get a little funky. It's only five envelopes per person. So again, if you want a set and we can talk colors and designs, a six <laughs> for the smaller one. And then if you want the bigger one, hashtag A5. And that'll do it for today. Um, so check in tomorrow. So this one's only going to be good until Friday. So you have to come back Friday and see if you want. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday videos, no video Thursday this week. And then we'll have a video on Friday with the prizes from today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Because that'll end up, that'll, that'll, wrap, that'll wrap up our magical mayhem. I'm going to try to like just, no edit this. Throw in the hashtags and a name and call it a day. I appreciate you guys always, always, always. Have an amazing rest of your week. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Boom.